everybody i'm back to share a haul i got a couple of different things in the mail over the last few days so i wanted to go ahead and share that with you first is this white tag stock um actually one of the folks who watched my video about the little card let's see the felt not felt uh <laughs> the floss card dies that are card that i was cutting with my um steel rule dies she suggested maybe i try this white tag stock from paper tray ink i actually didn't have any of this it's 160 pound weight so it is thicker than regular 110 pound card stock which is or 100 pound card stock which is what i used two of these to make this particular floss card and i'm just gonna hold it up to the camera and see if you can tell the difference so because i have two back to back here on this card it it is thicker this is one piece of that card stock so you can see it, it isn't quite as thick as the two but at the same time i think it will hold really well up to these because i want to be able to reuse these which is why um what i've been doing is writing the name of the floss um, number from from this label because you'll forget <laughs> I have so many of them right now you'll forget so um, once you run out I can just go go buy another one of the DMC 01 which is what this one is um, this one's 02 and um, wind it on here so I wanted to get this card stock you get uh, 15 sheets of this tag stock it's a really good price. I, th I thought it was $9. Um, you don't see this weight normally in places. I guess you could buy other um, tag stock, but, you know, I know the quality of their papers. So got some of that. And also in that order, I also purchased some felt because their vintage, um, vintage cream is this color. This one has been out of stock for a long time. So I got the stock notice uh, last week. Um, and ordered a couple of different, I, I ordered more than one, obviously. It's 100% wool, 5 by 30 inches. Um, and so I, I got some of the vintage cream. I also got some of the fine linen. And this is plum pudding. So got three colors that I was um, pretty low on and wanted to stock up on. You guys, Christmas crafting is in the works. So you can see here... Um, I got a bunch of little embellishments from this store here. This is the card. You can see the Etsy store. Um, but this is where I purchased from. And these are to go with some uh, order that I placed last Friday. There was a release. Um, and I wanted to get some embellishments for that order. Along with other things that I'll be doing. But um, So these are candy canes. These are two inch candy canes from that store. In these two colors. I ordered the mix. So... Um, two of those. I got one of the multi-pack of the one inch. You can see what other color she has. Really, really cute. And then I ordered singles of the red and white one inch and the green, red and white one inch. So I did get those in the multi-pack, but I wanted extras of these colors to go in my stash so I can have extras. These are the freebies she sent to me. Little Mickey heads, which I don't think I'll use. I don't know if I'll use. I'll probably make a card with it and send it off to somebody. Um, the lollipop and this little... It's a piece of bread with jam. Or Nutella, if you... Or peanut butter. Uh, I guess it's peanut butter and jelly, huh? Kind of cute. And you can see the little faces in there. So those are little clay pieces. And that's what all this is. It's probably all made with clay. You know, something like Fimo or something like that. And then I ordered from her as well these little um clay crumbles so these are like a chocolate crumble i'm gonna see if i can there you go like a chocolate crumble a, a peppermint crumble similar to this chocolate one and then i had some red confettis and some chocolate um heart confettis now these are not edible so you know just so you know they're just embellishments not edible um, so I'll be using these on projects, hopefully, in the near future. And then I ordered some stamps and dies. Oh, actually, just these are all dies. 
So um, this is a used die I purchased from eBay. This is the seed packet die for paper tray ink. Um, I don't believe I had this one yet. It's, it, it's, you know, retired die, so it's harder to find. I don't think I have one. If I, if I do have it already, I'll just keep it because I know that I like to cut more than one at a time. I am known to buy dies for that reason. So I could just send it through the machine with something else. Um, this is from the new release from the ton. Here is her website. And so I got this very vintage Merry Christmas die. And it's pretty big. I actually have some of these original ones. Uh, Carla gave me some of these because her, her dad and mom used to own a florist shop. Hey, Carla. And she gave me some of these actual plastic ones that she had, um, you know, gotten from when they closed the shop out. So I actually have some of these in the plastic. But I thought, you know, it would be cute to have these in a card as well. Um, and then these are um, little strips. There's one, two, three four, five, six, seven strips um, for card making. And if you notice, these are long enough for a slimline card. Um, I believe, let me measure it. Everybody's slimline cards are slightly different. Um, this is eight and... One, two, three eighths. Eight and three eighths. Or wait, hold on. Eight and a half. My ruler is in, right at the edge. So it's eight and a half inches um, wide. So you'll be able to use these for slimline cards or, you know, A2 size and just cut it, cut it off. Or if you're already cut down to that size, you'll be fine. So that's what these are, little strips. I know other, other manufacturers have done this um, sort of thing already, but they're all A2 size. These are for the slimline. So that's nice to have. All right, when I saw this come out, I knew I had to get these. They're really big though. I don't know about you guys, but I was not expecting that. Um, so these are from Ellen Hudson. Uh, let's see if she's got her website on her. Yeah, she does. These are from this website here and they had a release on Friday and I got these so quick. On Sunday they were delivered. So um, they're almost six inches, these gingerbreads. So you get the die to cut it and then you've got this inner stitching die. So you can have an option of doing it stitched or not stitched. Um, these would be cute cut out of craft foam. Now that I think about it. I just got some craft foam too for another project. And I'm not sharing it. But it's just craft foam. Um, if you can get the right kind color of foam. You know the light brown color. So it looks like a cookie. A gingerbread cookie and then it's got all the little you know shapes to fill in for the guy and then if you want to do it stitching you can use this die after you've cut this one to um, line it up and do the holes stitching holes um, I also got the girl and so they're just little pieces for the girl and then I got this other die because <laughs> there was an example of this used with the um, shape of the body and they made a voodoo doll. I just thought it was so awesome. I was like, oh, and she used these three dies right here to do the voodoo doll. It was so cute. Um, it's, it's, I, you know, as a gag gift, it's great. I don't really believe in all that stuff, but you know, to each his own or her own. And then I got these two Christmas dies as well. This is the knockout forest. So it's, um, it's just going to cut out the trees here. And then I got this one, which is the twirling flurries. So this doesn't cut out the actual pieces. It's just going to impress the stitched look onto it. And then there's some little holes that get cut as well. So that's really nice for a background for a winter card or Christmas card or something like that. I've got some winter birthdays that I have to make birthday cards for. Um, that happens every year, of course. So... I thought that'd be nice to add to my stash. And that is it for now. I don't have anything to share with you. I've been kind of busy with work and stuff, other stuff, um, designing stuff. And so I will um, be sharing some of my projects on um, a live video 
through uh, through paper tray ink and inked paper. Um, but that's coming up, not this week, but the week after. The last two weekends in October. So if you're looking to see me live, I'll be on that video if you follow the Paper Tray Ink Facebook page. All right? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye for now.